Hi, hello, and a very warm welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to discuss seven of the best places to put your savings. Now, whether you've come into an inheritance and a bonus at work or made a profit selling your house, having extra money gives you a chance to grow your savings and maybe fulfill a goal such as saving for a down payment on a new car, for example. But deciding on the best places to stash your cash isn't always easy. Of course, you want some return on your money, but yield is not the first consideration. You should be looking for a very safe place to put your money with a high degree of liquidity and minimal investment expenses. The return on your investment might be a factor, but it's lower on the list in the short term. So here are seven of the best places that you could put your savings. The first one is a high yield savings account. That is a high yield savings account. Now a high yield savings account is really an attractive an attractive option for those who want to grow their savings while also having fairly easy access to the money just in case. To put the earnings into perspective, a traditional checking uh, account will likely yield you a measly 0.01% uh, APY or less. Meanwhile, the highest paying high yield savings account earns around 1% APY. Now, a high-yield savings account can really be a great place to put an emergency fund or save for a vacation or home repair while providing safety and liquidity. And if you need to access portions of your money from time to time, a savings account restriction might be a problem as there's a limit of six withdrawals or transfers per month per Federal Reserve requirements on bank reserves. Another thing to note is that a high yield savings account might offer a sign up bonus or interest rate bonus, but you likely have to maintain a minimum balance of about $5,000 to $10,000 in the account to earn the higher interest rate. The second place that you could put your savings is certificate of deposit. That is what we call CD, Certificate of Deposit. Now, the main difference between a savings account and a certificate of deposit is the CD locks up your money for a set term. Withdraw the cash early and you'll be charged a penalty. Now, CDs also uh, can be, uh, this, you know, can to a great extent, uh, be a disadvantage when interest rates are low. However, they protect uh, savers from falling interest rates as they allow you to lock in at a fixed rate. If you lock in uh, a longer term CD, it's possible that a couple of years from now, um, you'll be better off if you kept the cash completely flexible in an online savings account. Now, one strategy to grow your earnings is to open several CDs that mature at different times. And this is called CD laddering. You know, laddering offers flexibility and less risk than one big CD with one maturity date. By having several short and long-term CDs, you can take advantage of higher interest rates without too much risk, but still have the flexibility to take advantage of higher rates in future. The third, third of the best places to put your savings is uh, in a money market account. Now, if you want a safe place to pack extra cash that offers a high yield than a traditional checking or savings account, consider a money market account. 
Money market accounts are like savings accounts, but they typically pay more interest and may offer a limited number of checks and debit card transactions per month. Money market accounts offer easy, very easy access to your money and they're safe if your banking institution is federally uh, uh, insured. Now, most banks and credit unions are insured by the Federal Deposit Insurance Corp or the National Credit Union Share Insurance Fund, so giving individual account holders protection of up to $250,000 in deposits at, at, at a single institution. Now, if you don't want to tie up your funds for a long term, uh, 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 you know, for a long term uh, in a CD, a money market account can be a good alternative. There are usually minimum deposit requirements for opening a money market account or for getting the best annual percentage uh, yield. And be sure to ask about all fees you could incur, such as monthly account fees and penalties. Number four of the best places to put your money is in a checking account. Now, a checking account at an insured bank or credit union is a very safe place to put your money. However, it's not necessarily the best place to save your money. Instead, checking accounts should be primarily used for storing your disposable income, um, that is, the money you use to purchase every day, you know, necessary expenses, that sort of money. Checking accounts are highly liquid and come with check writing privileges, ATM access, and of course, debit cards. Deposits can be withdrawn at any time and there is no risk to your principal. Now, while it's common, there are checking accounts that offer decent yields. Nonetheless, these types of accounts should not be your main place for storing savings. Fees typically are nominal or wavered if you maintain a minimum balance, set up direct deposit, or use your debit card at certain times of each month. Number five on my list is treasury bills. Treasury bills. You know, most checking and saving accounts as well as CDs and money market accounts offer deposit insurance of up to $250,000. And this is an important benefit. But suppose you need to stash more than $250,000. In that case, you might want to look at uh, U.S. Uh, Treasury bills or T-bills, which are federal short-term uh, debit, um, debit obligations with a maturity of one year or less. And the longer the maturity, the more interest the inv investor uh, uh, gets to earn. Um, now, treasury bills are sold on the secondary market, such as through a broker or investment bank or at auction on the treasury direct site. And they are sold to investors for less than face value. Remember, treasury bills are U.S. government debt, so there is no risk uh, you lose your principal. You can't get a higher degree of safety than a treasury bill. Number six is short-term bonds. If you're planning to pack your cash for at least five years, consider options that are more like investments than savings. You know, an investment might generate a higher return, but all investments come with the risk that you could lose some or all of your money. You know, your principal isn't protected. So years from now, when you want to take that money out, your principal potentially could be less than you originally put in. And if you're looking at five years or less, there is definitely more risk with that strategy. Now, for example, a mutual fund that invests in a short-term bonds might grow a little bit, but if interest rates arise, the value of the fund is likely to decrease. And that's because bond prices typically fall when interest rates rise. The longer the duration of a bond, the more vulnerable it is to rate fluctuations. That's why some investors prefer short-term bonds. And number seven of my list on 
Seven of the best places to put your savings is think about riskier options. That is stocks, real estate, and gold. Now, some people have a high risk tolerance, while others are only comfortable with safe investments, especially if they're retired or close to retirement. Stocks, for example, can lead to high returns, though investors will need to bear the inevitable ups and downs of the market. A good place to get started is with an S&P 500 index fund which includes the largest globally diversified American companies across every industry and this tends to make it less risky than other invest investing options and has uh, 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 returned about 10% annually over time to investors. So if you're looking to make a long-term investment, you may want to look into buying a home and potentially renting it. Now, now is really a particular good time to buy a home with mortgage rates at record lows. However, this has led to a housing shortage, so it may be tough competition when it comes to securing a property. Another popular investment option, especially during tough economic times, is gold. Some investors uh, see it as a safe place to pack their money, while others are a bit more skeptical. Nonetheless, the decision to invest in gold should be a personal one. Now, in conclusion, remember, when deciding where to put your extra money, it's a good idea to think about how it ties into your overall financial plan. You know, having a plan in place will provide you with clarity to manage your money that you'll be thankful for not only now, but especially in the future. You know, when coming up with a plan, consider seeking out expert advice from a financial advisor, for example, especially if you have more complicated money questions regarding topics like estate uh, planning, for example. You know, more specialized topics can be hard to navigate and there is no shame in getting a second opinion and some guidance. And it's also important to note that you should do some research before settling on a financial advisor. You know, you want to ensure that he or she is a good fit for you and your situation. First and foremost, always make sure that your financial advisor is a real um fiduciary who is acting in your best interest. By putting your financial plan into focus, you can more easily decide on what savings strategies work for you and your situation. So there you go, folks. Those are seven of the best places that you could actually put your savings. Now, if you found this video helpful at all, then give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to uh, share the video with someone else who may benefit from it. And of course, subscribe to the channel for more helpful uh, videos. Because remember, this channel is all about money. I do the hard work so that you can grow your wealth, your wealth and thrive in all areas of your life financially. Now, thank you very much and I shall see you in our next video. Bye-bye.